हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू माय पॉडकास्ट डब्ल्यू फाइव वा वुमन विनिंग वंडरफुल वर्ल्ड हर सपना कुछ पाने से पूरा नहीं होता कोई किसी के बिना अधूरा नहीं होता जो चांद रोशन करता है रात भर सबको किसी रात वो भी तो पूरा नहीं होता तो क्या चांद अपना काम छोड़ देता है नो नॉट एट ऑल सो फ्रेंड्स वेन यू आर डूइंग सम वर्क विथ योर गुड इंटेंशन Definitely, chances of its immediate appreciation is very rare. But as time passes on and good work continues, its impact is realized by others when required. So we have seen all wow women have performed on this principle only. So let's obey and follow them. Because आसमान में उड़ने की है तमन्ना हमारी. सिर्फ तमन्ना से उड़ना नहीं आता. कोशिशें और गिरकर संभलना. काबिलियत और सफलता की तक तक ले ही जाती हैं। सो फ्रेंड्स आर टूडेज वाव वुमन इज द वुमन हु रियली टूक अ फ्लाइट एंड बिकेम द फर्स्ट वुमन पायलट ऑफ इंडिया सो फ्रेंड्स राउंड ऑफ एप्लॉज टू सरला ठकराल द फर्स्ट वुमन पायलट ऑफ इंडिया उड़ान भरने वाली पहली महिला सरला ठकराल वॉज बॉर्न इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी शी वॉज इनकरेज टू फ्लाई बाय हर पायलट हजबेंड एंड हर फादर Thakral was born in Delhi in 1940 when India was still part of British Raj at the age of 16 she was married to Shri P D Sharma as per tradition she went to live with her husband's family in the city of Lahore in northwest part of Indian subcontinent in what is now Pakistan her husband a captain came from a family of pilots nine in all and he had distinction of being india's first air mail pilot captain sharma was assigned to route between lahore and karachi sarla thakral then known as mrs sharma had a daughter after marriage but seeing his wife's interest and potential aptitude for flying captain sharma encouraged her also to participate in family tradition so that in all there were nine so it will be a double figure 10 because he was too busy with his flying assignment to teach her personally her father in law escorted then in when she was 19 years old sarla to the local flying school to sign up lessons captain sharma was correct in his assessment thakral was a natural pilot she showed up for lessons wearing a sari happily clambering into the cockpit of her instructor's gypsy moth biplane after 8 hours and 10 minutes of training her instructor mr natur pronounced her ready to fly solo in aviation instruction the first solo includes taking off turning back and landing while alone in the plane it is a crucial first affirmation one's ability to be a pilot thakral didn't want to solo while her husband was away so she asked mr natur if they could wait for his return soon after captain sharma arrived home thakral successfully flew the gypsy moth solo climbing to required altitude and returning for a successful landing she had passed her first solo with flying colors and would go on to more intensive training after 1000 more hours of training in between caring of her husband and young girl that is her daughter she received her a certificate it was year 1936 and she was 21 years old so just at the age of 21 years old she has to her honor the pride of being the first indian woman pilot newspaper soon spread the word that the skies were no longer province for only men tragically in 1939 captain sharma was killed in an airplane crash after a period of mourning his young widow persevered eventually traveling to jodhpur to train for her commercial pilot's license she loved flying and hoped to make aviation her career but unfortunately her plans were dashed when she was informed by the school that all civilian flying had been suspended british raj had mobilized its resources around the mother country for entering a war with germany that is it was world war 2 hence in today's podcast 
इन द स्टार्टिंग ऑनली आई सेड हर सपना कुछ पाने से पूरा नहीं होता कोई किसी के बिना अधूरा नहीं होता नाउ नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ हर लाइफ स्टार्टेड शी वॉज अ रिसोर्सफुल एंड टैलेंटेड यंग वुमन एंड फ्लाइंग वॉज नॉट द ओनली एरिया वेयर शी डिस्प्लेड एन एप्टीट्यूड she returned to lahore and applied to mayo school of art where she earned diploma in fine arts in her degree work she specialized in the bengali style of painting and she created exquisite paintings of bengali women in elegant dress she also started a business designing and selling the costume jewelry popular among indian women it was a career choice and a living she had a daughter to raise and wished to stand on her own feet in the world her creations were popular and sold well she eventually began decorating long stretches of colorful woven silk fabric used in the elegant wrap around dresses called sarees then living in lahore which was now in pakistan thakral recognized that she would have to leave the area where she had established her home and her business her neighbors recognizing her plights as a hindu warned her of potential violence and promised to bang on a pipe if there was an approaching threat but thakral took wise decision and she packed what she could and left with her daughter on the train for delhi once she and her daughter were safely arrived in delhi thakral set up housekeeping and reestablished her jewelry and sari business her work became very popular in the newly independent society leading members of new elite such as vijaya lakshmi pandit diplomats sisters of prime minister nehru was one of the thakral's customer after a time she also remarried to shri pp thakral and remained happily married for many years in her spiritual community arya samaj widow remarriage was encouraged and she was follower of arya samaj she after her second husband died rented out all rooms in her big house and kept one room for her to paint and create she particularly enjoyed writing out shlokas or sayings from vedas the oldest hindu scriptures for her friends she always shared with others her determination to be happy because she believed to be human was to be given gift of laughter she died in delhi uh, in 2008 at the age of 1994 so her life was full of ups and downs taking flights landing she made journey from first woman pilot to successful business woman she followed principle zindagi zinda dili ka naam hai aur friends kismat bhi unka saath deti hai jinme kuch kar guzarne ki himmat hoti hai on her 107th birthday google dedicated doodle lasting legacy in honor of this incredible pilot designer and entrepreneur meet you tomorrow with next wow woman keep smiling be happy bye bye